Hey guys, here's something here. So I just got something that I was not expecting to arrive for a couple of days yet. Uh, so in November, I ordered uh, the new uh, Holiday Optimus Prime. It shipped out uh, December third, a bit December first. I don't know why I said thirst. Uh, and just arrived today, the third. Uh, it was not supposed to arrive for another three days. So, I am recording this just as kind of a thing to do for uh, the post, post on Christmas. That's really all it is. Uh, anyway, here is uh, the box for Holiday Optimus Prime. See, we've got uh, a bit of a torn wrapping theme going on here. It has a... Uh, can I get that in view at all? Cameras suck sometimes. Uh, yeah, so it's got a to and from label on it. This is one of those ones that's just weird enough that I had to get. Uh, also, I'm just going to point out, while uh, the unification of the names has helped in some cases, this is a case where I really, really wish they had kept the Japanese names because in Japan, because uh, this would almost certainly end up being called Christmas Convoy. And that's just such a good name to, to have. <laughs> All right. So let's actually open him up. I do consider the box part of this one in this case. I don't usually, but this is one of those odd cases. Oh yeah, I also show off the uh, art work there too. So there's the art of Optimus in robot mode. Uh, a bit hard to, for me to tell at first, but there, that is Christmas tree there. Yeah. All right, so let's open this up. Also, it's very weird to get something from Hasbro Pulse and have it come in an actual box with uh, illustrations and whatnot. <laughs> Alright, so... Actually, wow, uh, they went all out on this. <laughs> the instructions are wrapping paper. More obvious on this side. <sighs> you can see the torn wrapping paper around the edges there. I like that. It's a nice touch. Something we absolutely do not have to do. Uh, all right, so package in vehicle mode with the trailer. Uh, not in any kind of real way, just kind of there. So you can see the trailer, the cab. The cab is a licensed vehicle. Uh, I don't remember what it's called, what the actual name of it is, but it's the Amazon truck. Uh, we're pretty sure that this would have been the uh, Amazon Prime thing. Uh, who knows if that's even still a thing at this point. Uh, it is using the uh, plasticless uh, ties, which is also good for me because these are a lot easier to deal with than the plastic. Uh, I will try to get this as quick as possible because, again, uh, I've mentioned this before, but I'm not good at editing. So I'd rather get as much of this on the screen as I can. Come on, open up, please. There we go. Right. One tie down. Just realize I have a trash can right here. Let's actually use that. So I'm going to happen to get the uh, trailer out first. 
So the trailer is apparently the one from uh, Earthrise, which I did not have the Earthrise options at all, so I don't know any, though much with the trailer. Uh, I do know that based off of what we're shown, it is very much unpainted on the inside. For me, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I'm sure there will be places like Toy Hacks and whatnot that will do decals and things to decorate it. Okay, we're going to have to cut that one. <laughs> There we go. All right, so there's the trailer. It has the, uh, I'm gonna call it candy cane striping. It's got the uh, Santa Autobot symbol in the front, front of the trailer. There's the back. Uh, because this is Earthrise, I believe that means it can connect to uh, Omega Supreme and whatnot. assume that that's how that hitch works no clue all right well i'll figure that out more later but yeah there's the trailer i actually don't know how to open it yet Again, so they didn't have Earth, didn't get the Earthrise Optimus, any version of it. I don't know. You know the instructions for it. Usually, I use instructions once, and I can just go back and forth. There are exceptions. Uh, but I do al almost always have to transform them once first to know. That's another one, just cutting ones, all right. Uh, this one I can get without cutting. I get it without cutting, it's just better for me because that means less for me to do overall, but. Sometimes it's just not going to happen. This one's just odd. <laughs> Wow, that, that one's really tight. I don't know why this specific part is tied that much. All right, and there's the cab. The main Optimus figure. I can't tell if it has it in there already or not. not attached to anything there. Where did I put it? There it is. All right, don't say anything. Okay, so it must be in the in the truck then. Because uh, there is something else that comes with it. comes with this that I have not seen. Or that or it's in the trailer. That's something else I could see them doing. Right, and we have the uh, candy cane gun here. Uh, so it's folded up there. I'm going to assume that this is the way it's actually meant to be. Also, really, really odd uh, choice for placement. <laughs> for, uh, at least for what the official images had, had shown. It's a uh, it's 
this is how it's shown to be placed officially in in certain images online. Yeah. I'm gonna find a better place to store that. <laughs> Alright, so let's actually try to transform him. I don't work for Hasbro, I can say transform. <laughs> Yeah, even the instructions show that that's where it wants you to place it. <laughs> okay, sure. So is this, is this a piece that actually exists for a reason, or is that just there? Because it's not even shown in the instructions. Uh, I guess it's just there. I'm sure there's a reason for it, but... All right. So I've got a stand you can pull out there. I'll probably just keep it folded up for the most part because I mean I like roll rolling things around. But you can just leave it standing if you want to have the robot separate or the cap separate for whatever reason. Speaking of the cab, let's just see. I feel like I'm missing something here. This has way too far back to be correct. So I just place it like this. That's that's definitely not right. <laughs> that's what that's for. I see. This is to make it so that it goes. Okay. This is an adapter. Got it. That's better. That looks more like a truck. Okay. That would explain that. Again, I'm going to find some place better to put the gun. <laughs> This is going to be an interesting Optimus transformation because it does not work like most Optimuses. Uh, let's see. So the smokestack first. And pull out. Pull out the sides. Pull this down. And there's the accessory I was looking for. Okay. <laughs> That's something I'll show off later. But, so you pull the back down, sides out, back down, smoke stuck to the side. All right, flip it upside down because there's something it wants me to do here. 
looks like the sides rotate. No. That's not right. What am I looking at? Oh, there's a hinge there. Okay, got it. So these sides then go like this. I'm actually really looking forward to seeing how this looks once it's fully transformed. Obviously there's the box images, but those aren't always accurate. In fact, I think it might even be mistransformed on the box. No, no, they actually do have that corrected there. <laughs> Uh, all right. All right, so pull the arms up. All right, basically just has to do that. So that's all I'll do for the moment. Arms about to the side, it looks like. Oh, okay, right, because of the way this transformation works. I'm glad this one's going to get King used to. The arms actually go down to the back of the of the cab, where the trailer would attach. Uh, I didn't even realize I had the bumper flaps not actually out where they were meant to be. <laughs> And then pull the front of the cab apart, it looks like. All right. So it looks like it wants me to do a bit more than that, but I don't see how. So that's what I'm going to do there. And it's showing, is that the front grill? Showing something getting pulled up. Pulled, uh, oh, there it is, got it, the feet. Okay. No? That can't be right. Not sure what I'm seeing here. Feel right. What am I missing? <laughs> That's what I've got so far. All right. Uh that really looks like. Oh, it is the, okay, that is what it's showing. Okay, got it. So is the front grill. I don't know how far it wants me to put them back, so I'll just put them back like that for now. Okay, now it looks like I fold them to the side. Rotate to the side, rather. I think this is going to be a fun one to transform because I know more of what I'm doing with it. But again, first time, and this is not your standard Optimus transformation. <laughs> okay, now we do the D. These parts flip up, these little black parts. Wow, you're going to have decent articulation. That's impressive. Uh, let's see. Okay, rotate up and around. Got it. That I was expecting. And here's part of what I meant by it's not your typical Optimus transformation. 
the front of the cab becomes the feet. Now what are you showing? I see, okay. At least I think I do. It's hard to tell. Uh, really folded in there ones. Okay, I think this part of the instruction actually has is showing something backwards. <laughs> It's showing me it's flying, trying to flip it through here, uh, this way. Flip me the other way works better. Uh -huh. That's what was confusing me there. These are going to be the heels, I believe. They might be the front of the feet, actually. Okay, yeah, they are the front of the feet. Uh... Oh wow, that is okay. This is not how I was expecting that to go. So now we put some stuff inside, it looks like. Yes, I think. be no maybe not all right well we got the feet out anyway Ah, uh, I see. Okay. All right. So parts that we flipped very early on, flip back in, and are meant to flip all the way. So okay, a bit stiff, but it got there. The way things are clicking into place actually is very satisfying for me. Will you stop doing that? I'm going to assume the legs are going to fold down at some point. Maybe not. That's a surprise. All right, so this moves up. Are you sure there's not a step before that? Because it really feels like there should be a step before that. Okay, mushroom peg can be an issue. <laughs> Hmm. 
but that's more of my trying to do something that it hasn't actually told me to do. That's on me. Uh, and it's not stiff mushroom peg, so I'm not worried there. So, so these parts fold up like this. Again, I really feel like the like there's something I'm missing with the legs here. Uh, I'm overthinking it, that's why. <laughs> okay. So it looks like the legs are just going to be like this, which is not how I was expecting. And then up over the grill. Looks like Okay, now we flip these parts back. That's going to lock everything to place. Uh, these little black swingy black parts here. Again, that'll be solved once a certain step's done. <laughs> In fact, I actually just did that step ahead of time. Locking the uh, crush plate in is going to prevent the mushroom peg issue that I was having. Uh, uh Okay, so those black parts can be tight and may pop off. <laughs> Sorry, this is essentially a Voyager class. I'm not too worried on that. Just gonna take a bit to get it back into place. There we go. Again, that's my own fault. I tried to push where there was no place to push. That's entirely on me. Uh -huh. I'll call it things when it's design's fault. This is not design's fault. Uh, and I, I, I actually appreciate that thing just popped off and back in easily. Because that means I don't have to worry about the stupid little nail things or whatever they're called. Uh, All right, so this is what we have so far. Again, I suspect things will lock into place better once I have everything done. Uh, right, so the fake cab 
clips down. And yet, these are big instructions. Uh. Arms flip around to the side. Or rather, they flip down first. <laughs> Looks like there's something I need to flip down now. Oh, is that? Okay. Got the, uh... Are those big bumpers? Okay. <laughs> then this flips up and can lock in. Or is supposed to, anyway. Okay, yeah, it does lock in. It just takes a little bit of work. Uh, you can actually see the accessory I was talking about earlier now. I'm actually very curious to how that opens. Uh, <laughs> All right, so now the hitch part gets pulled down. Or comes off entirely, I guess. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, I see what I did wrong. Okay. Uh, hopefully that'll clip back on. See where it goes. I just don't think I'm lining up right. <laughs> I did something stupid. That again, it's on me. There we go. So it actually flips slightly up, not down. Okay. I got back on the bar. <laughs> it is just a C clip. And the reason it needs to be done like that is because it goes past the head. You're definitely meant to go down farther than that. Oh, I see. Okay, and it folds up. Got it. Okay, so basically fold back and up. <laughs> Bubbers can just be put down there. Oh, 
actually does feel really satisfying. Head can be turned around. Head does have light piping, so the green eyes will glow if you can get them in the right light. I don't know if you can even tell they're green here. But they do have actual light piping, it's not neutered at all. I forgot to actually uh, put the fake grill in place. All right now, this is pretty standard on most transformers at this point. Arms forward, which I already have. Actually, no, I'm not sure what I'm seeing. <laughs> okay, got it. Uh, so they flip open, take. So yeah, this is pretty standard, though usually it's done for seekers, not for Optimus. Actually has wrist rotation due to the way it transforms. Alright, again, fold open, pull rip, pull fist out, close. Actually, huh. Don't know why that fist was rotated that way. Well it was rotated that way in there. So that is uh, Holiday Optimus Prime. Uh, so you can see it's got kind of a Santa theme going on. It's got the, the red and white, got the black to represent the boots. This is almost, the cross piece is almost certainly yellow. Actually, it's, it's, kind, it's, a, it's an odd goldish yellow. Meant to be the belt buckle. Okay, let's see if I can actually. Okay, so that is just how it opens. So there's basically a second hinge on the on the front there, and open it up. You get the matrix. Uh, I believe there's a specific name for this matrix. Does it say on the box? I want to say it's like the matrix of holiday spirit or something like that. Does not say on the box. <laughs> but it is removable. Getting it out might be an issue. Oh, no, never mind. Not that bad. Uh, does have a 5 millimeter peg hole on the back, which means it should work with most other uh, oddness things. Okay, see, it's got a green center. And uh, it's silver outside. So if you want to display him without the matrix, there you go. Matrix detail is actually slightly molded in there, not completely. I'm going to keep the matrix in there because why not? Alright, and let's give you the gun. There we go. Somehow this is the first robot Santa toy I've had. <laughs> and yes, for all intents and purposes, this is a robot Santa toy. And like I said earlier, uh, I really think that it's a shame that the Japanese release, assuming they get a Japanese release, and it's not just uh, a US only thing. It's going to be Holiday Optimus Prime when Christmas Convoy is right there. <laughs> there he is from the side. He actually really unfolds quite nicely once you figure out what you're doing. 
It's got great or, uh, waist articulation. Move at the knees. I think he technically has ankle tilt, but it's going to be hampered. Oh, no, no. Yeah, he has actual an ankle tilt. Which, ankle tilt is meh for me, but I know a lot of people enjoy that. So that's that's Holiday Optimus Prime's robot. I'm probably just going to call him Christmas Convoy and make him a new character, in my case. Uh, because, again, it's right there. <laughs> Right, and then there's the trailer. Again, I don't know how the trailer opens because I've never had any version of the Earthrise mold. Like I said, it really is just exactly what it looks like, huh? All right, so unfold. As was mentioned earlier, very, very unpainted. There's a reason for that. There's a lot of paint on here. And a decent chunk on the outside. I didn't even notice, that's silver paint for, it's, for the Santa hat on the Autobot symbol. So, yeah, all right, back can attach to things like Skylinks' base or Omega Supreme or whatnot if you have the Titans Returns uh, or uh, or Power of the Primes things. Uh, Titans Returns, Power of the Primes, and uh, Siege. Siege is the one I'm looking for. I may actually attach it to the Skylink space. Uh, <laughs> just for hell of it. There's actually a lot of mold detail in there. I did not know that there was that much there. If I were to paint anything, and I might, it'll probably be the drone. <laughs> but that's what it is. Because this is the med bay base thing, you can it can just put Optimus in the back. It, it looks like it's supposed to attach to. Okay, so it's not going to actually attach, not the way the way they want it to. <laughs> but yeah, you can have the the repair drone work on Optimus if you want to. In any case, for me, the trail is probably going to pretty much just stay, stay in trailer mode. Uh, again, unless I'm using it like as, as the base. Uh, whoops. Overall, I am quite happy with this. I'm missing, uh, will be fun to transform. Okay, it took me a bit, but you know, first time transforming. Again, get decently dynamic poses. Things lock into place nicely, so if you have trouble like I did, it'll just uh, work out. Because that is a five millimeter hole, I think it should theoretically, if you wanted to, work with the Galvatron ne necklace from Kingdom and Legacy. But that is it for now. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great time, wherever it may be. Bye, guys.